Thank you, Anthony. Hello, everyone. Welcome and thanks for being here. Great to see so many of you, of course, the Prime Minister and other um, ministers and uh, the mayors and everyone else from the government, our investors from all around the world and employees and partners. It's pretty crazy to think about what happened during the last 15 years. As Anthony said, we had no right, no pedigree, knowledge, experience or money to do any of that and yet we did. It was almost impossible to imagine 15 years ago that in Croatia we would be developing and producing the world's fastest electric cars, the most, the most exciting hybrid cars, batteries, the highest performance batteries for the best brands in the world, that we would raise over a billion euros of capital that came into Croatia because of our investors and creating over 2,000 jobs and building the largest factory in this part of Europe. We have done a lot, we came a long way and of course we are not perfect. We made many mistakes, some things took longer than expected, but also we did a lot of things that we would have never dreamed of. But today we are going to talk about our most ambitious project yet. So, what's next? We are not even aware how much progress and benefit to our lives technology has brought. Of course, we all feel that sometimes things like social media is taken away from our lives. But in general, if you look at the improvement that technology has brought, it's beyond the imagination of our ancestors. Phones give access to information to billions of people. Anyone has the same access to internet, no matter if you are a billionaire or you are a teenager. But the billionaire has a very different experience when it comes to mobility. They would have their own professional chauffeur and their luxury car. The chauffeur would always take care of the car, making sure it's serviced, clean, and exactly the way set up that the passenger would like to. And the chauffeur would drive very professionally in a safe manner, and the person would come to the right place at the right time in a safe way while most other people don't have that experience. What we want to build is the best possible experience for everyone. The safest, most comfortable, cleanest, best experience. All for the price of a normal right-handing service. So an even better experience than the billionaire with their chauffeur in a Rolls Royce, but for everyone. And not just that, one thing is very important for us, it should not only bring benefit to the people using the service inside the car, but also to the cities where we are present. They need to bring benefit to society as well. In order to deliver the best, safest, most comfortable mobility service, we are developing a complete ecosystem that consists of three main parts. Obviously, the car, that's what we are going to talk about today quite a lot and it's a completely new approach, completely retaught from scratch. A very intuitive app and the infrastructure which we call the mothership. That's a place where the cars come to get serviced, cleaned and charged. And on top of that, the factory where we will build those cars and ship them around the world and we are building that factory right here in Croatia. Not this factory, another one, quite nearby here. As you will see, all of this is pretty bold. It's like looking at a crystal ball and imagining the future. What will the future look like? And then you go ahead and build that future. One man, like few others, has done exactly that. He has predicted the future. Some call him the inventor of the future. It's Jules Verne, and we are using his name to bring this service to the world. But 
why even do this? Why do we need this? What's broken? And, you know, transport, as we know it today, is, in our opinion, a need for change. It's a little bit like we are being a frog that's being boiled slowly in warm water, and we don't even feel how bad the situation has gotten. Of course, all of you know I'm a car guy, and I would be very upset if somebody told me that I cannot own or drive a car anymore. And what we are doing here today is not about that. Ownership and driving cars itself will continue. But what we want to do is to offer the best possible alternative when, for whatever reason, you don't want to drive. Let's be honest, most driving is not that exciting. You are stuck in a traffic jam. You don't feel that great. You would actually do something else. You want to play with your phone, which is not safe or legal. You would rather be somewhere else doing something else. We want to give a choice, an option that is the best thing, the best experience, when for whatever reason you don't want to drive anymore. So here are some of the current things that we think need to be improved in mobility. Human lives are priceless, and yet we accept, I mean, we all hate war, but we accept that there's more people dying on roads every year than in conflict globally. Even in Croatia, unfortunately, since wartime, more people have died on the roads than in the war that we had 30 years ago. Cost. Cars are our biggest, second biggest investment and cost in our life, after our um, homes, after our flats. And we are only spending a few percent of our time in those expensive things. It's all fine if you choose to do that, if cars are so important to us that we decide to spend our hard-earned money and our time in servicing them, worrying about parking, cleaning them, filling them up with gas, that's all fine. But how many people actually care about cars so much to do that? And yes, people, again, will continue to own and drive cars, but they don't have to. We want to offer an alternative also to car people for those situations where you just don't want to drive. Time is our most valuable asset, and yet we are collectively wasting millions of hours every year in traffic jams. Privacy, so it's great to meet new people, but I'm not sure that we always want to spend time in a stranger's car, in a car that's not very set up for us, where we are in somebody else's space, especially if we send our children with a stranger driving around. And those cars, um, or those transport methods, are not our own. They are not like our own cars. They, are, they don't have our music, they don't have our setup of what we like. So what we want to do, how to improve this? Safety first, so a human driver only has his or her own experience, while a AI driver has the collective knowledge of millions of accumulated kilometers and is getting better every day. A human has two cameras, two eyes. A robot taxi can have many more sensors, many cameras, right, radars, lidars, and is improving every day, basically. It is never distracted or under influence. And it is not perfect. It will not always be able to prevent every issue but it will improve safety greatly. And as most other cars around initially, will, or almost all cars around us, will be driven by humans initially, of course, we need to make the car also safe in terms of when there is a crash. So we made sure that the car is the safest, the Vern car is the safest possible car, even in case of a crash. But long-term autonomous driving will save many lives. When it comes to cost, we say it's worry free. You don't have to buy your own car, you don't need a loan for the car, you don't need to worry about service, parking, cleaning, we take care of all of that. Time, our motto is your time back. You will unlock a new set of time for you where you can do other things. You can watch a movie, work, do anything you like, just relax. You don't have to focus on driving with 10% of your brain and not doing anything else. 
Then a uh, personalization, oh sorry, uh, the, the space will be the biggest space that you can imagine. More space than in a luxury car, more space than in a business class flight. And it's going to be your own space personalized for you. Your YouTube, your Netflix, your music, your temperature, your seat position, doesn't matter which car picks you up, it will always be your car. That all sounds pretty exciting, right? And you might think that technology is the most important part of it. And yes, building the car, building the app, having the self-driving system, that's all very important. But what we are really focusing on is the user experience. It's like a phone. Every phone can make phone calls, but we are not buying phones because of the quality of the phone calls they are making. The iPhone became what it is because of the user experience it was providing. That's what we are also doing, focusing on every element of how the journey of ordering a car, using a car, getting from place A to B, integrating it with the rest of mobility, like public transport, every element of it we retaught for years, for the last five, six years that we are developing this. So, a few elements of it. As the car is autonomous, you have a consistent driving experience, meaning that uh, the driver, for example, will never be in a hurry to go to the next trip. It will be a consistent experience, it will never do, do something crazy, you can rely on it and you can see what the car perceives around it and what it will do next if you are interested in that or need to build trust. And since there is no driver, it can never cancel your ride. You will never be stranded with a cancelled ride on the side of the road. Uh, it's easy to use, anyone can use it, very easy and effortless. Big doors, easy to get in and out for anyone, especially senior people. Uh, you will transform your day. If you have a regular commute, you will know this is the time when I can use my time for something else. Your city's partner. We want to connect this with other services of the city and bring benefit to the city. Uh, safety in every aspect, including cybersecurity and privacy of your data. Always clean, very important for us, always. Lots of sensors in the car, we will never send you a dirty car, it will never come dirty to you. Um, if you need the car for a longer time, you can keep it. We have a keep function, which means that the car will be available for you. If you don't have a person in the car waiting for you, so you don't feel bad that somebody is there waiting. Subscription model, that will be something that we will offer as kind of a blend between ownership of a car and ride hailing service. Then it's a beautiful car as you will see, Adriano did a great job, so wherever you come, you will arrive in style. And it's for everyone, even for those who don't have our app, you can order it for somebody else. But, yeah, so, we combine the advantages, basically, of delivering your own personal space, while at the same time being a ride healing service without the headache of having your own car. It's pre-configured for you. Every time the car comes, it's your car, it comes with your music, pre-conditioned with your temperature, with the smell that you like in the car, with the, with the scent. Every ride is always like you are at home. But enough of the teasing, let's use the app and order one. Here it comes.